Okay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a birch tree on top of a snow bank. We're going to do this by using masking tape. And I'm using this black masking tape so that you can easily see it. However, it's, you're going to be using just regular masking tape. <clears throat> I'm just using this black masking tape so that you can see it on the video because white on white is a little bit hard to see. So you're just going to peel off some masking tape. Now if we were just stick it to the page it would stick too much and we wouldn't be able to peel it off. And we're using this masking tape to leave the white paper white so it will look like white snow in a white birch tree. So what we're going to do so that this tape isn't too sticky is we're going to put it on our clothes and jeans work great or you can do your sleeve and then you just peel it right off and that takes some of the stick off to so just put it on your clothes and then peel it off it takes off enough of the stick that you'll be able to peel it off of this paper when the time comes then what you're going to do is you're going to be tearing it down the middle of the tape to create a rough edge because in nature the edge of things are not perfectly straight. They're a little bit rough. Now if it comes off in pieces, that's okay. What you can do is just put it together. And I'm gonna make the snow bank first. Like that. Then I'm gonna start building the tree and we're gonna take the tree all the way up. So I start by building the trunk of the tree. And I can leave a little bit of space between the two sides of the trunk of the tree. You can build it all the way up or you can make it a little bit skinnier and just have it like that. That's what I think I'm going to do. Now trees don't end like that. They taper off into different branches. And the branches get smaller the further out they are. So they're nice and thick towards the trunk of the tree. And then they get smaller, skinnier out here. So then you'll need to get some more tape, which I'll have set up for you at the supply table. Don't forget to put it on some fabric. Push it onto that fabric really well. And then take it off. Then you're just going to start making skinny strips of rough edge tape. See how that's a straight edge there? So then I would want to find another straight edge to put up against it. And I want these to sort of come to points because sticks come to these skinny little points. So see how I put the two straight edges together to leave that rough edge? Now I've got two rough edges right there, rough edge on both sides. And I can put that there. And I'm just building this tree up. And there's a straight edge, so I'm going to have to put a straight edge next to it. Make a nice thick branch here. I want to get these tiny little pieces of tape here make great branches. See, that's going to be a great little branch. That'll be a great little branch right there. You don't want anything that just stops right there. You want it to come to a point. And it's okay if these overlap because branches overlap each other.
Then you're going to get a couple of nice pieces of tape and without tearing them you're just going to put them on your cloth and then just put them below your horizon line to make sure that no paint gets on your white snow bank because it would not make sense for there to be sky on your snow. Then you're going to get your paints and you have red, blue, and purple. Now the nice thing about watercolors is even if there's not very much there's still plenty there because watercolors a little bit goes a long way. Make a nice little bump for your sun then add some purple for your twilight sky and some blue. Now I don't have a piece of tape in between my tree in the middle of my tree but you probably should put a piece of tape in the middle of your tree to make sure that you absolutely do not get any paint in your tree. And then you're just going to finish painting then get a tray and actually you're going to be working on you can work on your tray the whole time if you'd like and you're going to put some salt down and you're going to shake lots and lots of salt on that very very wet piece of paper when you're all done with the salt take the tray with your piece of paper on it and put it in the drying rack